Well, we're done with the risers and treads. The newel posts are in place. And all we have to do is bridge the two. I've got a piece of hand railing here that we're going to use. I've cut a little profile of this hand railing where my fingers are going to slide. I've made those round grooves with this cove bit in my router table. I've also plowed a groove in the bottom of the handrail to accept the tops of the balusters. Now using my miter box and my bevel gauge, I've already cut the bottom of this piece of railing at the right angle. I'm going to butt it into the post and setting it on top of all these nosings, I'll mark its length in place. Now, if our newels are plumb, this railing should fit in its correct position. Now that I've cut it to length, let me show you how I arrived at this position. Down here is a mark. That represents the front face of my riser, and it's centered on our newel post. I've transferred that line up to the top here, 30 inches from the top of the tread. Then with my bevel gauge, I've marked the angle of the railing and brought that line around square to the front, and that's where it sits. I also did the same thing at the top. Now I'll run a few screws from the bottom side of the railing into the newel and at the top, and it will be ready for balusters. A lot of guys use rail bolts for this connection, but if you don't have one, these lags work pretty well. You can see this landing newel has to be a lot taller than the starting newel because this railing for the second flight is going to start way up here. Now on to the balusters. Mm -hmm.